What is up guys, it's Keepwack here, and we are coming at you finally with the finale of the 8-Bit Battle League. This was the Los Angeles Kingdra's debut, and I don't know, I had a ton of fun doing it, and I'm super excited to see where we go next and I announce anything to you guys, but I'm gonna just go over the team real quick. There's their possible team. I'm literally just gonna say what we brought. I don't remember why. I'm in a bit of a pickle because Showdown deleted this team. So I'm in the process of adding it back. Luckily, I had this screenshot. But I'm in the process of adding the team back right now to Showdown so I could do the battle. But let me just quickly show you guys. We got Daisuke the Marowak with everything you see on screen. Had to bring a Marowak for week 13 and the final battle. Final week of the 8-Bit Battle League. Moving on down, we have Mama the Tyranitar. Mega Tyranitar. New names for everything too, by the way. Um, I'd even name the Buzzwool or the bottom ones, I guess, apparently. I don't know what's going on. Below that, we have Tyranitar, obviously, Mega Tyranitar, Crunch Earthquake, everything you see. I'm just gonna say what they are, to be honest, at this point. We have Overfrost, the Kyurem, and once again, we've had a Kyurem many times. But he is coming with us for the final, or they are coming with us for the final battle. We have a unnamed Buzzwool that is coming to work uh, just destroy everything. I don't know what we're gonna name him. That's the fun part. Uh, we have an unnamed Rotom Heat with a, a usual Rotom set for us, so that's not anything crazy. But coming with us for the final battle. And at the very bottom, we have Shion, the Mimikyu. I thought the name was absolutely fantastic. Shout out to my sister Amanda for helping me get that. And that is the moves that they have. We're battling this team the very last week. Without further ado, I'm throwing you into the battle. We'll talk after. Alright, let's see what I prepped for and what I didn't. Alright guys, alright guys, as you can see, we got our names now. We got our names now. I named Buzzwool Ubert, because you be Ultra Beast, and I was like, it's just Ubert. That's Ubert, and then we got Mitz the Rotom, because he got the Mitz. He got him gloves up. But alright, I have no idea. I'm kind of expecting something not so powerful to hit the field first. I'm almost expecting Vavillion to set up. I'm sending in Mitz. Nope, it was x -Bloud. That was my second guess. That was my second guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. x -Bloud. Do I... Ooh, okay, let's think. If this thing is max speed, it'll outspeed Ubert by one. Uh, it won't outspeed the Rotom. So we're gonna Volt Switch into Ubert, I think. That's just my my best my best bet right now is Volt Switch into Ubert. Because I do want to get the fighting type and I wasn't ready! Oh man, I'm terrible at competitive. What a way to end it all, huh? Alrighty, this thing probably also has Scrappy, so it's touching Mimikyu. If we get if we get bodied before we even start this, the, my only option is honestly my only option right now is honestly already that was bad. Oh my lord, that was bad. Tyranitar is not outspeeding. It's yeah, it is. No, it's not. We didn't utilize speed. <laughs> oh, man. Um, we're already Mega Evolved. Alright. That's fine. Um, I really don't know what to do. I don't want to Dragon Dance because I don't want to risk it. Will it make us fast enough, though? No, because you're probably... If you outsped Buzzwool... Wait, no, we also did a swap. So we might... We outspeed. We definitely outspeed now. Okay. Okay, I don't know what he's doing next, but I'm gonna keep setting up the Dragon Dance. We're gonna finally go for the Mama Sweep. We're finally going... This thing might be... I don't even know. I don't even know, but... But... I think we're about ready to start bodying. I think we're about ready to start bodying, if you know what I'm saying. Stone Edge, go, boom, you're gone. You are gone. We are literally about to hopefully somewhat sweep. Let's see what our speed's at now. Nothing can outspeed us switching in. Hey, that is a shiny superior. That is a grass type. 
Oh man, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me actually real quick. This might pop up on screen. I apologize. Yep, it did. Of course it did. Um okay. Let me type in superior. I want to check out its stats. I want to check out its base stats. Want to know. This is our last battle. If we win, that's tight. All right. His defenses are both 95 base. So our best bet here is, okay, it's damaged normally by Dark and Rock. So I'm almost thinking I should just, we're hitting Stone Edge again. We missed. Oh, no. Okay, this thing is definitely, we're not living. We can't miss. T Tyranitar, we can't miss. Got the crit. Got the crit. Oh, man. I definitely forgot to say good luck, have fun to them, too. Why would you do that? Because he needs to outspeed, that's why. But we still outspeed. That's why he knew. He knew. All right. Tyranitar took two mons, though. It's okay. It's okay. We just have to save Daisuke. For the exer for the Zerkatry. Alright, um this thing outspeeds mitts. Does anything outspeed it? Because let's think, let's think. If I throw in Shion, which is a ghost fairy type. Hold on, hold on again. And Bug is not very effective against us. We are a fairy ourselves. No, bug flying type. My bad. I think I said bug fairy. We're ghost fairy. What am I saying? But bug is not going to do much against us. It has energy ball, but I think I'm sending in Shion. I'm sending in Shion. I'm sending in Shion. And what I'm going to do now is because we could live a hit no matter what. We've gotten rid of the Scrappy. We've gotten rid of... I don't know. I don't think they have any infiltrator mons. I don't think any of those mons get infiltrated, but we're hitting Swords Dance. I want to see what they do. Energy ball? I kind of... Okay. Before I get ahead of myself, like I always do, I have to remember my special defense is not the greatest in the world. Should I pull up a damage calc? I think I am going to pull up a damage calc. I want to know all of the best plays. All of the best plays. Damage calculator. Pokemon Showdown. All right. Alright, I don't even know what to look up, actually. It's gonna take way too long. I lied. I lied. Um, I know we outspeed. But do I want to hit Shadow Swords Dance again? There's no way they're switching. I'm hitting Swords Dance again. I'm hoping that we live. I'm hoping that we live. He got a crit with Hurricane. Went physical. Went physical. I should have expected as much. I really should. Who has priority? Nobody has priority. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. All right. I think he actually lagged out while we were doing that. Okay, let's think. Who are they going to send in next? Because, honestly, the only good option here to click... Is Ice Beam. I believe. I believe. Okay. Let's see who he sends in next. The Mimikyu. I can't believe Mimikyu got bodied. I wasn't ready for that. I really wasn't ready for the Mimikyu to get bodied, dude. I wasn't expecting. I mean, I should have known. People know Mimikyu as disguise. They're going to use a crappy move to get through the disguise. Alright. Ice Beam isn't super effective. But we are banded. We are banded. And I think it's almost like just the best choice still to just stay in. We might still win. We're not banded, we're specced, my bad. We might still win. Okay, let's wait. Let's let's look at this. I think I got a switch. I definitely think I got a switch. Because 
Overfrost might be our literal only hope against that Dragonite. Yeah, we're going to Mitz. Mitz, get back out here. <laughs> it missed! Okay, we're going all out. We have no other choice. We have no other choice than to go all out right now. I knew we would live. And boom. Look at this. Ah, we've won. We came back. We somehow came back. This was such a good game. I was so certain we weren't going to win. Oh, man. Okay, I could stay in. I could honestly stay in now. I'm going to hit Will-O-Wisp. I want to get that. That's lowering your attack. I've already lowered it with the burn. I've already lowered it with the burn. I really have no reason to switch. Yes, I do. You have Outrage. I knew I gave Daisuke Outrage for a reason. The only thing is, is we outspeed. And I almost would rather let Mitz go down than switch. Yeah, we're gonna let Mitz go down. Bro, we are getting so unbelievably lucky. And he outsped us, because now he has the Dragon Dance up. I should have hit Volt Switch right there. But we've won. They, he can't. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that he's taking us all out. I'm saving, I'm saving Overfrost for the end. Because we do have this. If we live, we live. It's done. It's done. It is done. We put Outrage on a Marowak because it actually learns it. And just like that, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have won the battle. And okay. We gotta talk now. We gotta talk now because that, of course, was our final battle, or supposed to be our final battle of the 8-Bit Battle League, and that pretty much brings us to the end of a series. But there are some things that aren't really making a lot of sense right now, because some people have dropped out of the league. This victory is gonna put me above other people. This victory might have brought me in the finals. And to be uh, completely honest with you guys... I almost don't even know if I... Or playoffs, I should say, not finals. I almost don't know if I want to keep recording the finals because this series... I, I loved it, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it and talk about what comes next when it comes to the Los Angeles Kingdras. So, this series was absolutely great. I think it was the perfect league to test my feet in the water or whatever. Uh, test the waters of competitive for me. And I really did like the league. I really did like it. It was very laid back. If I ever get in a league where it's not as laid back and there's a lot of drama, I might not like it as much, but I really did enjoy this league, the 8-Bit Battle League and the Kingdra's first season. It was absolutely great. I love it how Daisuke is the one standing out on the screen, too. That's so perfect. So perfect. But as I was saying, uh, the only thing about the reason I don't know if I even want to make playoff videos if I do go is I don't know if I want to, like... It's just a thing. This league wasn't a YouTuber league. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody in the league has been great. I love all these guys. Nobody really gave me any issues trying to schedule. But the thing is, it's since people are... Well, like, I, I, it's no issues as in they were all polite. But the thing is, is they're not a YouTuber league and they don't really understand. The only YouTubers in it are me and Brandon. So nobody else really understands the concept of trying to upload every Sunday when they're letting people have their battle that would have gone up on a Sunday for us. They're letting people battle on a Tuesday for that. So it's almost like it's just a lot of like of worry in a way of inconsistency, which I know isn't a big deal, but it bothers me, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know what's going to happen. I still kind of doubt we made it. I know we uh, completed this final battle and came out on top, obviously. 2-0, two to, to, uh, two had two months left. Really good battle, might I add. A great, best battle I could have asked for for the end of this. Because even though he completely bodied Buzzwool and Mimikyu, we still came back. Um, and another thing, though, guys... The, another, I wouldn't really call it a reason, but do not worry. For anybody that did enjoy this, thank you for one. This has been a, a different series for us. It didn't get the most support in the world, but I had a lot of fun. And a lot of people did enjoy it. More people caught on as we've been streaming more, picking up more momentum. So, like, it's just, I don't know. It's been growing on some people, but it's over, pretty much. But we're not done with competitive. Um... I have news. I have news, and I'm just going to announce it now. 
And that is that the Kingdras are coming back next month. That early. We are already coming back. And it's not going to be like at the beginning of next month. It is going to be after Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon release. But it is going to be uploaded simultaneously with the Let's Play um, come the time. It'll be uploaded on Sundays again. And it will be uploaded about the same time, not the same time in the day, but at the same era as Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And that is the GSL. I don't remember what that stands for, but I was invited by this dude who found me and raided me during a stream, Joe Schmo. So thank you very much, Joe, for the invite. And we will see you there. But that is the next thing, guys. We are going to have a full YouTuber League coming to the channel. Way different. We're going to be able to look at everybody's side of things. We're going to see other people's videos. It's just crazy. It's so exciting. And I will be joining that. And that will be coming very, very, very soon. Um... At the end of next month about that is what we're looking at right now but that will be where the kingdras make their return a whole new draft and everything so it is very exciting but i just thought this is an appro as appropriate of a place to plug that uh future series as any i'm not really gonna talk about it again until then i may be a little bit but thank you guys all very much regardless for continuing to support me, support, support, to support me, support the Kingdra, support everything. I love you guys a lot. You guys are the best. And yeah, at, since this is the end of a series, I just gotta say, it was super, super fun doing a competitive series. And thank you everybody that did um, either have interest from the beginning or started getting interest. Thank you all for watching these videos and all of that and enjoying. And I really do think the next Battle League is going to be something special for us. Considering everybody's going to be uploading. It's not going to be a league with two YouTubers in it and then everybody else doesn't do YouTube videos of the league. It's going to be a full YouTube thing. We could get immersed. Immersed in it with everybody. You guys could keep up with the standings. Not only our standings, but everybody. I'm hoping that it's a lot of fun. We're going to battle a lot of people that I've come to know in the past few months. Um, fa past really just one month of people that have met me through my streams and stuff like that. We're going to be battle. It's, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. But guys, thank you regardless for, um, I keep saying regardless, that's my new thing. But thank you guys very, very much for the support that you have shown on this series and on the channel in general. But it's done, 8-Bit Battle League is done. Thank you all very, very much. If you enjoyed this video and this series as a whole, please make sure to destroy that like button down below to show your support. It is very, very much appreciated. It means the absolute world to me. And... It's just weird. I haven't ended a series in so long. I have not ended a series since I took that six-month hiatus. I have not ended a YouTube series since. This is wild, and it's only a battle league. Oh, man, Emerald's going to be crazy. But, guys, as I was saying, thank you all very much. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed. If not, it's fine. And as always, my name is Kubowak. I am the coach of the Los Angeles Kingdras, and... Myself and the Kingdras will catch all you guys in the GSL. Peace!